Welcome back to yet another episode of As I Play Dying Holiday Advent Calendar. 25 days is a lot of days. Yeah, it is a lot. Holy shit. We didn't talk about this at all before we started doing no, it. No, not even a little bit. Another undertaking that we failed to, uh, tr to properly consider beforehand. What are we playing? Well, today is the 12th day of December, I believe. Sure. No. We skipped date. No, we <laughs> Okay, good, yeah. It's the 12th day of December. I'm so lost now. They don't put these fucking things in order. I don't know who this Advent guy was, but he made a fucking bullshit calendar. I think his name was Jesus Christ. Well, at any rate, we're playing DuckTales today. start with the screen. Yes! I'm so excited! Oh, it hurt my ears. I don't care. I don't care. This is all about me now. So, Holy shit, we're playing DuckTales! From the very first moment we started this channel, on our list of games to play, Duck, <laughs> DuckTales has been on it. Yeah. And, uh... You're goddamn right it has. We finally found some time to do it. Oh god, it's like a hurricane. Is it a duck blur? Oh, you're you goddamn right it is. There's gonna be lasers and race cars and aeroplanes. I like the kind of Paper Mario visuals they went with yeah. on this remaster. <laughs> Curse me, kilts! God, this is so awesome. I'm so excited. Wait, does Scrooge McDuck wear pants at all? Does he, why would he have kilts? Uh, for the, for cursing. Oh, I see. He's just got like a, a like a laundry, uh, or like a dry clean hanger system of kilts that he can curse and then move exactly. down the line. Curse this specific kilt! Because <laughs> you can't curse a kilt twice, obviously. money been alarm! I don't remember if this was in it. I don't think it was. I believe the original game started in a jungle. That was the first level, yeah. Yeah. So this is probably- Or rather, I think it went just straight to a title screen, or a, a, a level select. Gotcha. Holy crap. This is probably an intro level- You I'll, truly have no idea how excited I am to be playing this. <laughs> I'll Mega Man to teach you about jumping. Uh-huh. And pogoing. And pogoing. I got the hard pogo turned on, bro. Like- You have no idea what kind of pogoing I'm getting ready to do. The hardest pogoing. The hardest. For sure. I do have some- You never played this, right? No. This game, I'm not sure why it's it's treasured the way it is, because I am not the only person that loves this. Well, it's- Um, but goddamn. My understanding is that it was Capcom at its peak of game creating, right? Uh -huh. And it had, like, a unique gameplay style, despite being a licensed title. Mm -hmm. Like, the pogo idea was interesting to people, and it's still- Like, I haven't played this game, but that idea is fun in Shovel Knight still. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, it is just like Shovel Knight. <clears throat> I didn't um, think about that. Yeah, that yeah, Shovel Knight. You know, being the conglomeration of older games that it is, uh -huh. it has Mega Man elements with the different items you get, and uh -huh. it has kind of, it you know, it's got the Ducktales influence and with the pogoing. Yeah, with this whole thing, and it is it is interesting because thunk. Oh, <laughs> that's what I call a stomachache. Wait, didn't he just get hit in the head? Hey, you moronic marauder. <laughs> um, yeah, it's interesting because this game obviously came out when, uh, you know, everything was had to be very simple. Right. Because it was the infancy of video games right. in the first place. They had two buttons to work with. So they came up with a, you know, a simple little thing to do. Yes. When you're just walking around here, you can't do shit. Right. You know, uh, and if you just jump on somebody's head, unlike Mario, you'll you'll get hurt. Right. But you have to, in you know, there's an extra input for the pogo capability. And, but and then in certain situations, you have this whole uh, right. capability, too. Whoops. All right. I'm going to use a pogo jump to defeat enemies. Yes! Just like I used to! Oh, God, I'm young again! <laughs> And it changes things, does it, oh, I guess you, you can't just regular, regularly jump off their heads, right? Uh, correct, yeah, if you just jump on them without pogoing, you'll get hurt. Seriously though, this is, it's, this is like a goddamn time machine. This is amazing to me. I'm glad that you're having a good time. I'm it, already having a great time. It looks time. like fun, but I just fucking love old school platformer games. Uh huh. Oh, I see what you gotta do there. Whee! Nice. So, Kabonk. I just, I... Kabonk! Any game like ah. this, I'm sure I would absolutely adore, because I just... Like, as a gameplay style, I love it. Uh -huh. And I'm sad that games like this don't exist anymore, but I totally understand why. Um, because the cost of development for games is so high now, and then, like, the... The cost for development is so high now. Why, why is that? Of video games? Which is, are you referring to something specific? No, just true. That's why video games are, like, $60 now. It's because oh, it right. so much to develop them. Well, so wait a minute. If... What if somebody wanted to make this exact game now? Right. Would this also be really expensive? Or are you talking about, like... 
the Calls of Duty, etc. No, I think I think it would still be expensive. Not expensive as a, as a Call of Duty, but games cost a lot of money because the main thing is like you have personnel. <laughs> like that's a huge cost now. Um, what about impersonnel? Would that work? Uh, maybe. Oh, look at that little puzzle. I will. Wow. <clears throat> Get out of here, you gluttonous goon. Anyway, I was just talking about this because it's like, someone's like, oh, well, why hasn't Capcom made a new Mega Man game in forever? Because nobody wants them. Well, no. <laughs> uh, a lot of people want them, but the problem is, is that when you make a new game, mm -hmm. then you're going to probably release it for $60, right? Right. But I don't know that Mega Man games in the style that they were in the NES is really worth $60, and I love them. But well, yeah, just, what about Mighty Number no. Nine? Everybody loved that. Um, That's exactly what we got. Is that not worth sixty dollars? No, it was also like twenty dollars. Ah, but well, it wasn't worth that either. <laughs> that's my point. Uh, I think the general consensus from people in the light of day is that it was all right. <laughs> um, I haven't played much of the game. Well, that certainly wasn't the uh, messianic expectation people had. No, the uh, the visuals were disappointing. But I, I'm sure that if I God damn, they were. If I spent some time with the game, I'm sure it'd probably be fun. Um, it, no, we spent some time with it. It looked like a hot pile of garbage. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't think it was that bad. Um, really? Yeah. Uh, from gameplay perspective? Yeah, we played it. I was there. No, I know. It, it, it was a trial, a chore. Well, yeah, those games are hard. Punk. And it was hard. Uh, but I don't think it was broken. It didn't seem like a fun trial or chore, though. Oh, no, it's like a Mega Man game. Those games are hard. You just don't like that, Punk. You don't like that genre. Ah, oh, crap. I've made a terrible mistake. You have. Oh, now, well. Now what are you going to do? I don't need those. This whole place is mine. Not those now, though. Whatever. This kind of reminds me of, like, Cool Spot for some reason. Did you ever play that game? Uh, no. That was licensed marketing for 7-Up. <laughs> um, but it was a platform. I think I've heard of that, actually. And a pretty good one. Was it? it? That, boy, there's something that doesn't happen anymore. Yeah. The accidental good licensed game. Yeah. Well, it's because what happened was... With, oh, the, oh, with those games and with this oh. one, is the company in question is like, hey, Capcom, we want a DuckTales game. Uh huh. And Capcom's like, oh, well, we're good at making video games, so right. just give us money and we'll do it. We'll just slap some duck over the top of it. Yep, Hold just like any French dish. <laughs> you know what fucking freaks Not me so out? so fast, my duck. Whoa. <clears throat> is Chris McKilts a thing he says a lot? Yes. Okay. He even said that in the original. Nice. Well, at least they have a, a very even-killed representation of the Scottish people. Yes. Even-kilted, I believe <laughs> you mean. Is that a thing you can say? Even-kilted? Yeah. I wouldn't suggest it. But what if you were off-kilter? <laughs> okay, what did that do? That opened up the switch up top. Okay. So now you have to go back up and hit that switch. It's a very complex oh system. Shut up. It's like two-factor authentication. Ah, fuck! You've died. I've been ducked. I've been ducked hard. Which is good because now I have a sound to put at the end of the episode. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. Yep. I was thinking of you. That's why I always try to intentionally die when we play these games. That's, that does explain it. As Convenient. Long, yeah. yeah what, get out of here. Why are they capturing the Duck Brothers? Oh, you know, just to generally harangue Scrooge as oh. they... Are they probably not an like, insult to injury kind of thing. They're not, like, keeping him for... For ransom or anything like that? Well, no, I mean, think of all the times that they've tried to get the best of Scrooge McDuck and all the sorts of misadventures they've had together over the years, or, you know, against each other. Right. And those damn little nephews of mine are always uh, thorns in their sides. I so see. it kind of makes sense that they would want them uh, behind bars of some sort. Okay, so there's Scrooge McDuff's Ducks. McDuff. McDuff. <laughs> Scrooge McDuck's. Scroof McDuck. Uh. They're his nephews. Yes. Whose sons are they? Donald. They're, they're Donald's? Yeah. So then Donald is Scrooge's brother. Uh... No, Donald is... Married to Scrooge's sister? Cause I, that's actually, I believe he's their great uncle. Okay, so it's Scrooge's father's brother. This is all new. My god, I don't know what's going on. Hey! I mean, I have an idea. It's, but... a, it's a boss. Oh, I know that, but... I was throwing globes at you. I have not experienced it before. Now whack it back at him. Donk. Yeah, eat shit. Yeah, there you go. The thank, you, thank you, Duckworth. Whoa, jeez. Should have been paying more attention. You should have. Duck Is Duckworth throwing you items? Yes. Yeah, well, no, he's doing the safe. Oh, I see. God damn. Yeah, you gotta watch out for that. Yeah, I do. Donk. 
I do really like the the Paper Mario art style. Oh! I think it's a good way to deal with 2D games. Yeah. I wish that more games were made with this side of type of thing. Well, when we, when we get to Jotun, maybe you'll like that, too. I don't think so. I think I'm going to hate it. <laughs> I you, hope not. You've been talking it up so much at this point. Right. Uh, it's, it'd be impossible for it to live up to those expectations. Yeah, now I'm just going to be like, this is hot shit the whole time, except it'll probably be cold shit because it's Norse. <laughs> <laughs> cold Norse shit. Like an old Viking poo. No helmet will save you, Beagle Boy! He's only throwing the busts now, he's not throwing any globes. He's alternating, I think, busts oh, okay. and globes. You know, like the lady folk that I like. Oh, okay, I'm like, what was his voice that there for a second? Then Curse I, I, you, my yeah. duck! Good riddance to bad beagles, I think. <laughs> I, I honest to God don't think I ever watched this show, Sam. That, that is really a surprise to me. None of this seems familiar to me except for, like, my understanding of it from a cultural perspective. Well, this wasn't in the, the original game. No, I'm not talking about the game, like, the characters and the voices and all that. Like, oh, none of it's ringing any bells, Like, huh? the, the brothers there do, because yes. they were in other the, the chromatic ducks. Yeah. I, I think I was more of a Rescue Rangers, Darkwing Duck kid. Uh -huh. Well, yeah, they were all branches of the same tree. And this was the trunk! I liked, uh, I liked that Dale, I think it was, was dressed as Indiana Jones. Uh, I think that was Chip. Okay, and then Dale was dressed as Hawaii Five-0. Yes. What a weird show. Uh -huh. A treasure map, lads. An ordinary, ordinary treasure by the look of things. This is probably going to take me to the jungles and the Himalayas and uh, Transylvania and space. Gotcha. So I see. They were trying to give it some narrative sense so you don't just start in the jungle. Right, which I didn't need. All I needed to know was DuckTales. I see. A woohoo. But now you've got narrative. Yes, for Tales of Daring Do. Bad and good luck tales. It's amazing that you know all those lyrics. <laughs> <laughs> d -d -d danger! <clears throat> right. I didn't even watch the show that much. I just really liked it when I did. And this, oh, that was the other cool thing about this game, is that it was one of the first ones that I was able to beat. Nice. Yeah. That's cool. It was a fun challenge, but I was uh, I was able to get through it. When I was a kid, I could beat all the Robot Masters and Mega Man, but could never beat the Wily stages. Oh yeah. Which one do you want to go to first? Uh, the Himalayas. Okay. Oh, there are five levels. I forgot that. Scrooge McDuck's just like, we're going to start at the moon. This is probably... <laughs> yeah. this start from the top and go down. This is probably just going to show how many collectibles you've gotten so far. Oh, I uh, I thought that doing it over here would just send me back to the selection. I think you didn't select anything. Oh, because the fucking buttons are all fucked up because it's the SNES shit. Or... Fucking, fucking stupid fucking bullshit! It seems Curse me, kilt! Pat my parka! It seems more like you could just get used to it. It's not that hard. You just press A. We've, uh, we've had this discussion, I believe. Yeah. Uh, it obviously is hard, or else I'd be used to it by now. Yeah. So, tearing me down to make me feel bad about myself isn't gonna do anybody any good. Unless it builds you up and makes you feel better about yourself. Is that what is that what's happening here? No. You get you get some pleasure out of it? No. Is, is my pain your joy? Mm, not in this case. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> not outside of a sexual context. W uh, uh, Indulge me, lads. <laughs> I mean, uh... <laughs> that, I don't like that. They're related. Oh, the music's good in this game, too. I don't buy it. Well, you might not be able to since we're doing the show like this and you won't be able to listen to it. I mean, I'll hear it when I edit, so. I don't remember the Himalayas music, but the moon's good. It's probably just a bunch of cool and tong. <laughs> yeah, it's all, like, tribal. Do you hockey duck in this? Not that I recall. Do you hockey duck? <laughs> I've been known to hockey duck. <laughs> occasionally. Ho God damn it, launch pad. <laughs> Way to go, launch pad. <laughs> what about land pad? <laughs> Should have brought him. I thought that crash was rock solid. Is he dumb? Is that his thing? He's kind of... Capable but dumb. Yeah, he's kind of that, that heroic, dorky kind of, you know, archetype. I never liked him when I was a kid. Why? Oh, look at him. He looks like a dumb goof. I like that. I, I probably appreciate him more now. Oh, God damn it, Launchpad. Anybody that can't get a handle on their R's like that, yeah. I, I, I thought less of them. I see. I, uh, I had to take speech counseling because I was saying my R's wrong when really? I was a kid. Yeah. And, um... I wasn't getting better. Alright, I appreciate that they took the time to add the narrative setting, but I would like to also be able to skip it. Have you I just want to go get Himalayan jewels. Plus or minus yet? Uh, oh shit! <laughs> you're a genius! Yep. Anyway, Himalayas. Hey, we found it. We did. Alright, bunnies, you ready to fucking die? I don't want to die. 
Well, you're not a bunny. Don't worry about it. Oh, it's Thumper! It is Thumper. That's sad. <laughs> Why is there a map? Are the levels non-linear? Uh, they are. Actually. So, oh, that's cool. Yeah. Sorry, that I had to think about that Eat answer shit, for goat. a second. They are non-linear. That makes sense. Uh-oh. Yeah. Oh, damn it. That makes sense for DuckTales, because it's supposed to be like an adventure genre thing, right? Yeah, exactly. So it's a pretty good, uh... Wicked, wicked electric guitar in here. <laughs> that's, that's an upgrade. I like that... Oh, I can't pogo on the snow. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, I like that in... The, the soundtrack, it seems like they're using the original Pixel soundtrack, but have added real instruments to it. Yeah, which is smart, because the soundtrack is like... Like I said, it's well-loved. Right. It's a core part of what made the game cool. So yeah, paying a little homage to it is nice. We like ah! Capcom in this era was unstoppable. Like, yeah. What happened? <laughs> uh, the same thing that happened to a lot of Japanese developers. They don't get first-person shooters. Jackfoot. What happened? Do you sound like you uh, have an idea what that is? No, that's what I'm saying. First-person shooters came around, which are largely, if not entirely, made by American studios, and okay. Japanese never picked up on it. But the public in America, who's the main people buying games, love first-person shooters. Oh, and you're saying because of that, there is just not enough money for Capcom to do anything. Well, I think there's just a disconnect between the types of games that the Japanese companies want to make and the types of games that the American audience is interested in buying. And the Japanese market for games is diminishing. Ah. Um, that was going to be my follow-up yeah. question. And for console games, is diminishing because mm -hmm. they spend so much time on the subway. Right. Crammed into those. Uh, oh my uh -oh, god. Cartoon spider. He's kind of cute. He's got a nose. Yeah. Oh, hey. Hey, you found a hidden path. So I did. Oh, yes. That's what I like. Give me that shit. A heart piece. Oh, yes. That's definitely what I like. A full heart piece? Forgot about that. Yeah. Oh. Do you know how to beat him? The spider? Yeah. I have an idea. And it involves jumping on his head like everything else. Let's see if you can do it. Uh, nope. <laughs> I thought you were gonna do it. I was really- I had hope for you. I was actually- Oh, I can fucking pogo on this. Never yeah. mind. I was prepared to make a joke about you doing it successfully, and then you didn't, and you left me hanging. Sorry. Well, I- I thought I was still on the snow where I couldn't, uh, I, No, I get it. ...faithfully pogo. I get boink, it. Boink. 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 He's got boink. a red- he's got a red nose because it's cold. Yes, and he- and he's probably drunk because of that. Like a St. Bernard. What happens Whoa! if you pogo on that? It's gonna break the ice? On this? Yep. What the- No! Oh! I meant the cracked one beneath you. Nope. Oh, but that hurts. Yeah, the spikes. Yeah. That's cool. Give me that shit. Ah, oh, my avaricious nature. It's the Mighty Ducks. That's just one duck, Will. <laughs> did you ever watch <laughs> the Mighty Duck? That show? I did not. The cartoon with the Mighty Ducks? Not the cartoon, not the movie, none of it. Man, that shit was the coolest when I was growing up. Was it actually? Um, yeah, I mean, I did. I didn't want- I'm, I'm seriously it. asking. There was the super buff duck that had the- I remember that. That had the golden mask. Yeah. And it was the coolest, and I had an action figure of him where he had a bazooka that fired hockey pucks. Uh-huh. And it was- I remember the toy commercials and shit. It was cool. See, that was- But I the also- The super buff duck. Yeah. You know? That held no interest for me. Uh, just- it, it was, you know, it was a, a sports thing overall. I just yeah. didn't give a shit. I really liked hockey when I was a kid. Oh, really? Um, Did but, you? Yeah, well, there was a hockey team in Florida that. when I was growing up. Um, this is like an in Florida. Oh, okay. Before I knew you. Pre me. Yeah. So uh, I was into it because like we had a hockey team. We'd go to Panthers games and it was fun. I, I dug it. And so I was into Panthers play hockey. Yes. God, Florida is an amazing place. The, the the Florida Panthers, the hockey team. They're not right. actual Panthers. Uh, <laughs> uh, excuse me, rabbit. Other things to attend to right now. Don't hurt me? Okay, good. That would have been some bullshit. It would have been. Fuck you, Thumper. Can you kill them by slamming them with the the rod? Huh? Oh, I um they would hurt me before I got a chance to. Gotcha. Not even if you timed it correctly? Whoop. Uh oh, damn it. The hitbox. Ah oh, fuck! Oh, well, uh, that's a game over there, Sam. No. Oh, not. almost. Um What was the question again? Who who knows? Oh, would they no I wouldn't I wouldn't be able to do that now. Okay. Point. <clears throat> so you gotta dig him out of the ground with a little jump. A little pogoing, yeah. Huh. Ah, damn it. <clears throat> Why are there hockey playing ducks in the, the Himalayas. Himalayas? Himalayan hockey team. 
You think they wouldn't be good at it? <laughs> no, I'm not saying... <laughs> their natural environment. I'm not saying that. I'm just confused. It seems out of place. Well, you know, this is the modern era. The Himalayas probably have access to, uh... Cable. <laughs> We're like, hey, we should be, we should try that. We'd probably be good at There's it. There's a rope up above you, by the way. Doesn't look like it. You have to pogo. You did it last time and you were sitting on it. Weird, last time you were, like, hovering up there for a while, I thought you were on a rope. Hmm. I don't know. Very strange. There we go. Nice. Just had to time it correctly. Fuck you! <laughs> oh, what My if, block. What if he'd poke a, what if he'd hockey sticked it back at you? Uh, I would have been <clears throat> very upset. How upset would you have been? Very. Would you have, um, huh? would you have yelled? Uh, maybe. Possibly. Would well, you- Fuck you! Would you have lashed out in violence? That's also possible. All Why? Right. Why do you ask these I'm things? I'm just curious. I'm Very specific. I'm trying to get to the bottom of it. I'm trying to understand how angry you would be. Oh, okay. Hey, ice cream. Nice. Sensible. <laughs> yeah, it's a good place for ice cream. The Himalayas? Yeah. Hmm. This may have been the wrong block. To no, select. You got it. Just make a jump for it. You have enough health that you can just eat one hit if you need to. Yeah, but I don't know if it's gonna, like... Belmont me. Whoa! A little bit. Hey. Whatever what, that was. I don't know what that did. But. There's money. Does he keep all of his money in precious gems? <laughs> yeah. It's a more stable, uh, whew, more stable market. But I, I oh, thought, I was probably supposed to come from this direction. Fuck you. Never mind. <laughs> Fuck me. But he I ha have been fucked. He has the vault of... He has the vault of coins he can jump yeah. into, though. Well, yeah. That's, that's for pleasure. I see. He liqu oh! he liquidizes some of his assets so that he can have a shut up. Um, Sorry, I, I compulsively corrected you. <laughs> it's fine. I mean, it's not, but you did it, so we're here. <laughs> You're gonna need too one late up. to take it back. Oh, give me that. Oh, what? Oh, I see. You can only do that with the rocks. The yeah, oh, the arc. See if I can pull this one off. You got it. Ha ha! Hold it. This one will be harder. That was the training one. Yeah, exactly. Because now you got to make the jump afterwards. Huh. There we go. Oh, God. That's to bad. be back here again. I'm glad that you're Fuck. enjoying... <laughs> I'm glad Listen, that you... it's, it's no, an it's adjustment. Fine. I got it. I got it. Oh, oh weird. I thought... Yeah, some of these gems just appear out of nowhere. Most well, of them, I guess. So you have to adventure. Exactly. Yeah, like I said, non-linear levels. You found the, the Beagle Boy. All right, Beagle Boy. Is there an end to the level, though? It's not just like a collect everything type thing? Actually, it basically is a collect everything okay, type so you, of thing. If I remember right. After you get your money back, then you... Uh... Oh, there are a couple of items that I have to grab in oh, here. Oh, I see. And there are other places that I can go. I Ooh. think one of them was directly below you. Mm. So you gotta, oh, like... yeah, there's another upward way to go. Yep. Let's see about that, shall we? Do, 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 do. Yeah, you gotta go down from here. We and down from here, and then left, and then Did up. Already come from here? Yeah, but you didn't go left. Huh. Oh, but you can't go up that. Wait, but how do you get there then? Good question. Well, there's also one you missed to your right and down. So if you keep yeah. going back. Uh oh, right that way. And then you probably get there from the floor below you. <laughs> you gotta do like the fake out jump and then hop in there. Yeah, but I can't really get... That's gonna be nearly impossible. Just get take the hit and go through. It's the only way. There we go. Nice. I had to, I had to prepare myself for it. And then you just run right into yeah. that one. Ah! Was it worth preparing? Uh, mentally, yes. They go up really fast. They do, yeah. Fine. So down here somewhere. Stupid hockey duck. Maybe there. There we go. Yeah, see, I assumed that was a pit. Well, the rope And goes it down. is, technically. Yeah. <laughs> the rope goes down it, But though. without rope access. There we go. It's so dark down here. Yes. And spooky. Obviously. Who is Bubba Duck? Uh, as a shrimp fisherman. I don't think that's Believe. true. Does he hunt him with a club? Whoa, what happened? Yep, this is definitely new. Well, 
they added some story and stuff. They did, yeah. Yeah, they had a little fella. Well, not not only the dialogue, but his this guy's his presence, presence in the game at all. Yeah, no, I'm sure. It's probably just an extra collectible or something. Maybe. I just don't scooge. remember this character. Uh, don't help me scooge. I can scooge myself. Thank you. What do you see, Bubba? Oh. All right, Bubba, just break some shit. Follow me, lads. Scooge McFuck. So they called me my frat days. There we go. Oh, nice. How did you get through this in the original one, I wonder? I don't know if this was even here. Or maybe they made some changes to it, yeah. Smash that rabbit! Or don't. I think oh, he's not okay. capable of doing it. There we go. Nice. Alright, onwards, Bubba! To victory! Pretty strong. Yes. For a tiny oh, he's got duck. that primitive strength. Not yet! Oh, okay. No, you... you you didn't act fast. I gotta enough. work uh, with him and against him. He's too fast for you. And too furious. Oh god! I saw a clip from one of those movies the other day, having yeah. never seen any of them. I've never seen any of them either. I could not believe it. Really? What? What? It's, what? It you... almost. Fe I think that they've finally gotten to the point of taking the piss out of themselves. Right. Because it's so like obvious that no one involved was taking it seriously. <laughs> like. Even like the cinematographer and the scriptwriter and everyone, like no one gave a shit in that movie. It just Wait, like was that number two? <laughs> no, it was just like seven that I saw the clip from. Okay, what well, what happened? Why? And what it, makes you say that? It's hard to explain it. It just is like it's very low quality. Everything about it, it seems just oh really? Just seems really cheap huh. and bad. Like the acting, the voice, the that's the, weird. The cameras, like <laughs> uh huh. Everything. Almost as if they knew that they could just shit out whatever they wanted and people would pay to go yeah, see it. Yeah, or like the fight choreography, like nothing, it all felt budget. It was huh. very strange. I wonder if that's going to become a slang term soon, like ratchet. Budget? This is totally budget. <laughs> oh, we say that all the time. <laughs> really? At my work, yeah. That's funny. Well, like, oh, that's where that was. If we, yeah. Did I miss an item? You I must might have, have, yeah. Oh, what the fuck? You just fall, oh, you can't fall down there. No, I, I gotta go all the way fucking back. God, whose, whose idea was it to start at the Himalayas? Mine. Ah. But you gave me the option. True. Ah, damn it! <laughs> oh, that's a game over. No! What happens at a game over? I don't remember. You probably get, go back to level select. Probably. Look those duck feet working. Yeah. It looks like you're correct. So now we can go somewhere else. Good. Like the moon. Not the moon, you fool. Or start at the Amazon. It's at the top of the list for a reason. Because it starts with the letter A! But isn't the point of a, a level select to allow you to choose the way that you progress through the game yourself? Yes, but you know why they do that here? Because you have to go back to some of the levels after beating previous levels. I see. How's that for some fucking advanced shit for the NES, huh? Yeah. How you like that shit? Talk about a duck blur. They did that in Mega Man X. We, we get it, okay? The Mega Man games were games. <laughs> the best games. Uh Made by the same company, which is why it's That's relevant. That's true, yeah. Thanks for the lift, launch bud. No problem, oh. Oh, lift sorry, I just got caught listening. <laughs> no, that's fine. I just don't have anything to add to that. Yeah. All right, I like the music in this one too. It's been stuck in my head for about like five percent since I was about eight years old. I see. Five percent of the time since you've been eight years old. No, all five percent brain power, always dedicated to just looping the music from this level. I understand. So now some you, interesting chromaticism in it. <laughs> so now you have to get the King Scepter to add to your pool of money to jump Apparently. into. Oh, that's what the major thing is. Yeah, there's like one big ass treasure in all the levels. I gotcha. think. Why is Scrooge McDuck a hero? Seems like he's uh, in spite of himself. Okay, but it seems like he hoards money away from people who could possibly need it. He does, but he's got a heart of gold, and an everything else of gold. <laughs> and even his name Scrooge implies that uh -oh. he's a miser. You're right. Uh-oh. It implies he's not God, willing he's, to help people. Huh! I don't trust him. That is definitely the implication. He's, but probably, well, he's, he's probably a filthy banker. He probably sold some people some fraudulent home loans. That Yeah, I don't know how he made his fortune. That's a good point. We know him now, now that he's already amassed it. <laughs> Human trafficking. <laughs> 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 I said call me Uncle Scrooge, damn it. <laughs> you girls get back to work before I bring out my whipping cane and his corkscrew penis. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> That's 
sounds more like Donald than Scrooge. <laughs> what? Uh, that that oh, yeah. kind of lascivious, violent behavior. I guess, yeah. Yeah. Sufjan Steve. Do Donald's a lot harder to root for. Scrooge goes from miserly to, you know, warm-hearted pretty quickly. Sufjan Stevens, since the Trump won the election, yeah. has been just posting pictures of Donald Duck on his website. <laughs> <laughs> with, uh, with no explanation? or There's some explanation. Like, the point is... This I is think, the only Donald I can root for? No, I don't even, I don't even think that. I think he's just comparing the two of them. Oh, really? Yeah. I would definitely rather have uh, Donald, Donald Duck. Duck in office. It's just Sufjan being weird. Yeah. Although, I gotta say... Uh, there's a, there are a surprising amount of similarities. Um, Donald Duck, thin-skinned and ah! thin-skinned and violent. Right. Unreliable. Yeah. Hot-headed. Yeah. What are you gonna Not do? as avid a Twitter user, but you don't know that. <laughs> True. It's just his tweets. It'd, be, it'd probably be Quacker, not Twitter. His <sighs> different bird varieties. <clears throat> I'm mad at you. Stop for that. pausing my progress, Ducktales remaster. Well, it wants you to experience its story. Yeah, well, I'm. This, this is all about reliving shit. I've been through this already. Whoa! Yes. Money <laughs> and ice cream. <coughs> and these are a few of my favorite things. My, uh. I mean, we could have gotten the NES version. Yeah, that, that would have cost more than this, though. No, I think they would have been about the same. Oh, really? Yeah. I thought they were, uh. I thought that one was expensive. No, this one's just It's easy. probably just hard to find. This one's just easier. Right. I've yeah, gone... nobody, nobody gives up DuckTales once you have it. Right. And I don't have to ship anything to myself this way. The ah, digital fuck. download. Can you bounce on that snake's head? I most certainly can. Boing. Nice. Thank you. Oh, it, it unpogos me once I pogo something, though. You gotta repogo, man. Yeah. <laughs> in life as in DuckTales. You gotta repogo! How many times have you repogoed today? Probably not enough. I and I've got hard pogo on. It's true. It'll help us find the treasure Dude. For sure. Okay. That horse is gonna help you find treasure. Yes. Oh, it worked for Catherine the Great. I guess so. I feel like that's just a historical lie used to try Mr. and discredit McD. her. Uh, I prefer to believe that it's entirely factual. I don't know how that discredits her. It, well, because it makes her seem like a sexual deviant. Na uh, then, I suppose. Whoa! Yeah. You know who um, else, you know who, you know who else is going to be discredited as a sexual deviant? Who? Uh, probably you on the next episode of As I Play Die. <laughs> Why wait? Discredit me now. <laughs> I love it. I'm totally into that. Discredit me, Will. Discredit me hard. I don't, I don't want to malign do me. I, <laughs> Misrepresent me. I don't want to be. Oh, impugn me. I don't want to be part oh, of this. Curse me, kilts. <laughs> All right, fine. <laughs>